All right, guys, let me fix my tight dress. <laughs> let me fix my tight dress. All right, I'm ready for you guys. Ah, woo, I'm ready for you. All right, let me give you a proper introduction. Welcome back, stingers. Tonight, we're going to talk about validation and why sometimes you guys go under random YouTube videos, scouring the comments, looking for someone to join you in whatever issues you're going through or you're looking for someone to just give you permission to be who you are <laughs> and i'm going to use a viral video that is huge now as the perfect example and we're going to talk about self-esteem because we always do that and i'm going to give you the name of this beautiful person who won the holiday quiz giveaway all right guys are you ready for me because i'm ready for you Let's get it in. So there is a viral video going around YouTube and just all over social media in general. Um, you guys probably know who this person is. I'm not going to put their names out. I never do that on my channel. You guys know that. <laughs> um, but he is supposedly in this big group of men who want to tell women how to get high value men <laughs> and he recently was on the phone or doing a video chat with a woman telling her that she was average and she can't find uh you know a high value man because she's 35 and she has children and she's average looking so i wasn't thinking really about that situation because maybe she does feel average and maybe she does think she's too old. I don't know. I don't even care about that. What I do care about is why she went to him searching. Uh, uh, tell me what I'm worth. Tell me what I'm worth. Some of you guys are doing this too. And I know. Today I did something that I never do. That I never do. And when I did, I was just like, ugh, <laughs> bored out of my mind. But there's a lesson in this. I went on YouTube and I typed in Scorpios and I wanted to see what videos pop up and who makes these videos because the majority of videos on YouTube about Scorpios are not even by Scorpios, guys. Not even by Scorpios. There's even a channel that's all about Scorpios that's run by like a Virgo. And I don't think you guys know this. However, I said to myself, well, let me just go in the comments and see what Scorpios are saying. Let me see how they're presenting themselves. Let me see if they're begging for validation. And boom, this is what I found. Really saddened me. So there's the channel. I guess she's talking about her Scorpio moon and how it's so deep. <laughs> <laughs> and all this other stuff. And I explained to you guys, those of you who study astrology, you'll, you'll understand this, but those of you who, who do not, you won't get it. Every Scorpio moon is not the same. Every moon placement is not the same. Every moon has different aspects going to and from it, okay? Um, there's things that can really make a moon really, really strong. And there's things that can kind of, you know, eh, once in a while you deal with some drama, but it's really not that deep, okay? But I noticed as I was scrolling, all these Scorpio moons, oh my God, let me, let me just, <laughs> let me just give you some of what they're saying about themselves, about themselves. Is it me or just does everyone with a Scorpio in their chart has some type of abusive, dark drama? No. <laughs> it's just you. It's just you, love. And then, and then somebody talks about, oh my gosh, it brings depression. I'm so depressed. Actually, the sign of depression that would be Capricorn. Saturn, that would be a Saturn issue, not a Scorpio issue. Okay, now the person who studied astrology would know that, okay? You should not mix up words and bring them on as your own. I just did a video about this. You know, adapting those, those words and creating a language. Uh, Scorpios aren't depressed. It's not even a depressing sign, guys. It's not even a depressing sign. Now look at this. And then there's a whole conversation about Scorpio moon is the real Scorpio, la la la, the, the usual conversation. 
And the person who made this video, you know, they probably didn't know. They're speaking from whatever their moon placement is. Um, but also this person said that they, you know, they're a lighter sign, you know, they're actually a double Mercury. I think they're a Virgo with a Gemini moon. So they're used to being so light. They're used to being up there so light. So to have, you know, a Scorpio moon is probably really heavy for them, you know? And then there's some of us who love it. You know, I dive in, I dive in. Um... But there's Scorpios in here, in the section, not just with her video, but with all sorts of videos, creating language that doesn't even belong to us. And I'm scrolling through and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a shame. This is terrible, actually. It's terrible, it's embarrassing. Um, the most embarrassing thing is not that they're really adapting all these things. I mean, that too, because you shouldn't be doing that. But is there, they're on this channel begging for validation. Please help me. I'm so depressed. Somebody even said like bipolar. Why are you, why are you connecting that with Scorpio? Why are you connecting that with us? Why are you bringing that over to the 8th house? Bipolar? Like what are you talking about? Why are you, all these diagnoses? No, none of these people are medical professionals, by the way. <laughs> I'm not a medical professional. I've never diagnosed any of you guys ever. I've done your chart readings, I've answered your questions. I come from a self-esteem point of view. And you guys who who's have, have conversations with me behind the scenes, you know that. I always make you go in. All that other stuff, you, where, you, where you want the blame game, or where you're reaching for something, oh no, it must be this and that. Like you want a problem. You want a problem, but not only that, you want other people to validate it. You're in the comments. Oh my gosh, but what about this? This happened to me when I was young. I got this trauma and I got this and that. Not even knowing real astrology, just relating that to the Scorpio moon. Like giving us that, like, no. I pushed that out, like, no, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. No, it's not. Now in this viral video, this woman went on a show. She, she, she really set herself up. She went to a person that hates women, who talks down to women, talks terrible about women, who doesn't value women, right? And she's reaching to that person to ask, what is my value? What is, what is, what am I worth? And then she puts it into numbers. He's like on a scale of what, one to 10, what are you? Are you, are you crazy? There's nobody in the world who can ask me that. What do you rank from one to 10? There's not enough numbers to rank me. I'm more, I can't, I don't fit in the number. My whole personality, are you crazy? You're putting that between one and 10? I don't think so. There's too many things about me that are fabulous and worthy to sit there and say, I, I think I'm a seven. Like, get out of my face. Get out of my face. There was somebody recently in my comments who was telling me how to dress. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> He's like, you should wear heels. And then I'm like, you, you know what? You wear the heels for me because you probably already do. Men who come into my universe trying to tell me what to look like and what I should be doing are probably dressing, you know, they got their heels on behind the scenes, honey, and their lip gloss and whatever they're doing. I didn't ask you for any advice. I never asked you guys for anything. You know what I mean? That really pertains to who I am as an individual. What do you think about this? No, it's not what you think. It's what I think about this, you know? And when he asked her to rank herself, you know, she went very, very low. She went very, very low. And, and he didn't make up that number, which is interesting because a lot of people are talking about, he said this, oh no, she said it first. I watched that whole original video. She gave herself, oh, I'm a five. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you pleading? And it's the same thing as Scorpios in these comment streets. Oh, any of you guys, any of you guys ever feel this way? Begging for, what are you begging for, guys? Oh, I relate to you so much. Now, she's going to come, whoever the YouTuber is. See, I've been in the YouTube street since, what, 2013? I really didn't start off my channel to 2016, you know? Like, the other couple of years were just me playing around. But 2016, I would say, officially is when I kicked off. So I've been here for a minute. I've been here for a minute. And I know the difference between 
someone who's really giving you something and someone who's trying to get attention. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of YouTubers who talk about Scorpio moons, of course their intent is to attract some wounded bird who, oh my gosh, I feel that way too. And my father beat me. Why are you talking to them? Get a medical professional if you want help. If you want help, right? Now, if you want to talk straight astrology, I can give it to you. You may not like what it is because it may not agree with your rhetoric that you've already you know, produced in your brain. Oh no, that can't be it. There's something wrong with me, which a lot of you guys do. You start adding stuff to create problems and then you attach it with Scorpio. That's not Scorpio, that's you. Look at this, low self-esteemers, all in the comments. Bipolar and darkness. What? Do you listen to yourselves? This is sad. It's sad. It's sad that you're begging some woman <laughs> who's trying to probably figure out her life. You're begging her for, for validation. Like this woman's begging this man to rate her. From one to ten. Oh my gosh. Your life is so full. How can someone rate you from one to ten? Even on looks. Like who are you though? Who is he? You know? What size are you? What size dress? Don't worry about my size dress. What you're less valuable because you may be a 16 and not a two? I don't think so. I don't think so. Guys. And this is why every time I look in my comment section and I see someone attacking Scorpios or attacking each other, uh, block and delete. You gotta go get help. Don't attach that with Scorpios. Do not. Don't bring in that bipolar, narcissist, and you got every disease you can think of and you're bringing it over to the Scorpio community. Why? Why? For what? And you're begging people in the comments to do what? Diagnose you? To diagnose you guys self-esteem building self building self right going inward what am I feeling what am I thinking what what is this really connected to what is this really connected to is everything a Scorpio's problem every issue that people have on the planet they want to trace back to Scorpio's <laughs> it's it's nuts it's nuts and usually it's the people who aren't Scorpios. They're like, I have a Scorpio rising and this is my, okay, well good. It, you know, take your Scorpio rising <laughs> and print all 10 of your diseases and just go, go, <laughs> just get the broom. <laughs> just like sweep them out the door, lock the door, <laughs> like oh, 10,000 locks. Like get the hell out of here. Don't bring that shit over here. You're not even a Scorpio with that. Like go away, you know, go away guys. Be careful with words. Words are everything. They're everything. As soon as you start saying, I am, oh, you're becoming. You're slowly becoming. You're bipolar. Okay, well, a lot of people are bipolar. Get professional help. Don't get in the comment section and bring that, oh, that's a Scorpio problem. No, it's not. I'm not bipolar. In fact, I have no mental Ill and illnesses at all. Never diagnosed ever. I'm just as sane as they come. Okay. And so I was just thinking about this because so many people were talking about that viral video and a lot of people hit it right on the nose. We had some self-love coaches come in and say, oh my gosh, this is a self-esteem issue. And I 100% agree with that. You know, I'm never on YouTube channel looking for people to love me or validate me or rate me, rate my looks. Are you crazy? You know what I mean? One guy may say I'm a 10, one may say I'm a four. And guess what? I don't give a shit about either of them. <laughs> the one who said 10 don't matter and the one who said four don't matter. Because my self-esteem is not built on either opinion. Do you guys get that? It's not built on anybody's opinion but my own. It's not built on that. Now, if you want to learn real astrology, go to a school and pay like the rest of us do. <laughs> and study from the ground up. And then you'll start noticing different words that connect with different signs, you know? 
you'll get it. You'll be like, oh, that's not Scorpio. That's actually, that's actually, you know, Gemini. That's a Cancer thing. That's really a Leo thing. You know, you'll stop with the language, just making things up, making things up, you know? and running in the comments of random videos. It was so painful to scroll through. I don't know how you guys do it. I never look at Scorpio videos. I'm not interested at all. Most of these people aren't. Um, they're not Scorpios, right? They're just trying to get clicks. And I'm sitting here like, okay, well, let me look in the comments and see what Scorpios are coming. Oh, oh my God. Uh. There were so many, I was just like, this is ugly, this is crazy. It's nuts, guys. It's nuts. I did a whole self-esteem series for you guys. I did one back in what, I think I did a few. I think 2017, 19, I just did one for Scorpio season. I gave you key um, points. I gave you language, I gave you tips on how I propelled little by little. It's not gonna happen tomorrow. You're not gonna be fabulous tomorrow. Okay, some of you have had some rough journeys. Rough, right? I gave you key things. And if you're not gonna use them, you're not gonna use them, you know? You're not gonna use them. But they're there for you to build yourself up. And as you build yourself up, you won't even be seeking out anything from anybody. Especially people who are just out there to hurt you. You know, some man-hating person saying that you're worthless because you have a child. Like, people love children. Like, I was a child once. <laughs> You were a child once, like, what are you talking about? How is having children a problem? Most adults want children, okay? And that lessens your value? Like, I can't, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. But it's the same thing, guys. It's the same thing as you going in the comments of a Scorpio Moon video and saying, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my life is so traumatic. I can't. I, I, I'm depressed and I have bipolar. It's because of my Scorpio moon. Nah. Nah. No. Don't give that to us. That's you, honey. Now, I don't know what aspects are going to your Scorpio moon. I don't know where your moon is. I don't know what the, what the, what the squares are, what the oppositions are. I don't know. I looked at your chart. But that's your, your stuff. Don't come blaming us for all that, you know? All right, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> Just wanted to share that with you. And if you celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. I do not. I never have in my whole entire life. I was not raised a Christian. But I'm using this day to relax for once because I am uh, a person who likes to work a lot, um, for sure. My son is in my 10th house. I have Mars in my sixth house of work. My Mars has a beautiful connection to my 10th house. So it's all like busy, busy, do this, do that, do that, right? And I have Capricorn on the rise, right? And so I've just been relaxing today, trying to really relax and do some nice fun things that I like to do. All right, guys, are you ready? Because I'm going to announce the winner of the holiday video quiz giveaway, which was not easy, right? So let's get it in. Let's do a little astrology, because I never really go in, because this is a Scorpio channel, but I can. So we're going to do, uh, go over quickly the, the quiz questions, and I'm going to announce the winner. So I asked you guys, those of you who didn't pay for the video, you don't know the question, because it was in the video, but your moon squaring Mars in the 12th house, and I gave you some options. So if you think about this for a second, you think about your moon, right? Your moon being, you know, emotions, being feelings, um, you know, squaring Mars. Mars is a planet of competitiveness, action, aggressiveness. It gives you also a lot of drive. It gives you a boost. It makes you, you know, um, action oriented. And I said, if your moon squared Mars in your 12th house, what could that mean? It could mean a variety of things, depending on what's going on, right? And so the answer was you could be secretly competitive because Mars is very competitive, very competitive planet. It wants to, you know, conquer, right? 
But you know what a square is? A square is friction. It's friction that is more um, internal instead of like an opposition where other people can kind of notice these things. So you can be a secretly competitive person and people wouldn't know it until it comes out <laughs> in different ways. So my next question was Neptune opposing Venus in the seventh. Now we know what Neptune does. Neptune Pisces is uh, ruled by Neptune. And uh, Neptune is, is, there's a lot of things. Neptune is a very artistic planet. Neptune, uh, wherever it is, it kind of blurs the line. So you always got to be careful when that makes a transit because it's like, mm, you know what I mean? Like you could really not be paying attention. It kind of rose color glasses type of planet. Now, when it has an aspect to Venus, when it has an aspect to Venus, if it was like conjuncting Venus, that would make you like super romantic and super like sensitive and super like loving and caring and all these different things, but it has an opposition and opposition is still friction, not like a square though, right? So if your Venus and, and your the Neptune is having opposition, you're kind of cloudy in those relationships. So the answer is you can be idealistic. You could probably think that you're in love, but you're not. You can probably think, it depends on who's uh, in whose chart, if I was doing a comparison, depends on whose um, Venus was opposing whose. You could be the one that think you're in this great relationship, the other person's like, uh, no. <laughs> Number three, Saturn. Uh, squaring Uranus in your fourth house. So what is Saturn? Saturn is, is, is life lessons, it's authority, it's you know that kind of like that male figure. Um, Saturn is discipline, Saturn is caution. What does Uranus do? Uranus stirs things up. Uranus is rebellious, Uranus does what it wants to do. Uranus is the freedom planet and if you have that friction in your home family you could well have been very rebellious against whoever's the authoritarian there. So that was the answer to that. Number four, Mercury conjunct Venus in the first. What is Mercury? The planet of thinking, the, you know, the planet um, of communication. Um, it's logical. It's the planet of like close family members, like cousins, short distance travel, um, you know, literature, reading, that sort of thing. And um, if it has a conjunction to Venus, a conjunction kind of combines the two. It makes like a whole other energy. So think about a person who's just like a thinker. And Venus is like beauty. The first house is what you give off. So when people meet you, you know, you're probably like an amazing speaker. You express yourself really well, you know. Um, it makes you Venus's charm, right? So it makes you kind of a, like a charming, well-spoken, tactful individual. It's a really nice placement. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> Pluto in the second house, trining that MC. What does Pluto do? Pluto gives drive and power and control, right? What's the second house? Ruled by Taurus, money, material things, values. So if you have Pluto in your second house, it can mean a very, you know, various. Um, amount of things you can be controlling with money, but it depends on what else is going on there. But what I said is, if if you have Pluto in the second, and it trines your house of career, right? So you're going to be really in control of of what's going on there. Control, especially when it comes to money, especially when it comes to money, right? You're going to have a lot of drive, a lot of power. So that's the answer, and the winner of this. Fabulous giveaway is Karima. Now, Karima, you're going to win everything in this box and you're going to love it, but you'll only win if you are subscribed to Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon podcast, and follow me on Instagram. So, send me an email with a screenshot of all your following, right? And your mailing address so I can get this off to you as soon as the post office opens. All right, guys, this has been fun. 
I'll see you in my next video.